Welcome back, and uh, this video is going to be pretty brief, and we're actually not going to do any coding. I've done some coding on my own between um, the last time uh, you, we, we uh, coded together in, in this video series and now, and that's just to do some setup code for um, the next task we're going to do, which is to create a many-to-many -many relationship. So in order to create a many-to-many -many relationship, we need um, two objects that can relate to each other in that way, and we're going to use uh, the concept of tags to, um, you know, things you can tag an event with. So these would be, you know, similar to the, to the way tags are used on social media. Um, and those, the way they are used on social media is is indicative of a, a many-to-many -many relationship. So I already created a persistent tag class, and I made all the controller and UI changes necessary to work with that class by itself. It currently doesn't relate to any other objects. And I made a couple other changes as well. So let me go through um, and show you what they are, and then I'll show you a little bit of the code. Um, and there will be a branch that you can you can look at this at if you like to that we'll link to um, in, in the course book. So we're on the main events listing page, and one thing that you notice has changed. We're not we're no longer listing out all the details um, of, about each individual event. So this is one change I made, not directly related to tags, but still going to be something that helps us uh, get ready for uh, working with a many-to-many -many relationship in tags. And that's because I, I um, want to I wanted to have a view where you can see. Oh, my start server's not started. Um, I wanted to have a view where you could see the details about a specific event, and I didn't want to show those all on the main event listing. And the reason for that is as we add tags, um, and you might add, you know, we might add some more fields on our event classes later, um, this view just gets really, really cluttered. So um, I'm just going to make, I'm just going to have a view, and let's see, if we see, yep, there we go, we're started up now, and I can show it to you. Um, I'm just going to have a view that displays the details about a specific event. Notice it has this little uh, the name of the event is in the title, and then it has the ID, description, and email, and we're going to add a tags row down here so people can see the tags associated with, with an event. Um, so this is a new details view. So I changed, uh, essentially just changed the template and created a new template and controller for this view. So that's pretty straightforward. Um, nothing, no new concepts there. I also have uh, an all tags view, so you can see the tags associated with uh, my application, and like I said before, these do not yet relate to any events. There's no way to connect them up. And then I have a way to create tags using a form. And so let me just say JavaScript, just create another tag to show you how this works. And that submission takes me back to the all tags listing. And now let's look a little bit at the code. I don't want to go through all the code again. This is no new concepts. You could you could you could have done this work on your own, um, given the knowledge that you've uh, obtained in the last couple of classes. Um, so right, I have a tag class now. This is persistent, so it extends abstract entity as we always want to do. It's got some validation stuff in here on, the, and so far it only has really one name, or sorry, one, really one field, which is the name field. Um, we'll be adding uh, a field that will allow it to look up the events with a given tag later, but that's it for now. I have a tag repository, which again, this is fairly boilerplate, the same thing we've been doing before. Um, I have a tag controller that renders the views associated with uh, the all tags listing and the create tag uh, form and the processing that form. So this works again in the same way. This is essentially all the work we did before when we added our, our category object as a just a single persistent entity with no relationship. So uh, that's there. Let's see what else. Uh, and then I have a, a, a new a new method in my event controller, which is the the method associated with that details view. So that there's a template called detail, that's what has that uh, that little table that has all the details, the description, contact, email, and so forth. So I have this new template, and then I modified the index template so that it only links to the details view rather than showing all the details on that screen. And of course I have tags uh, templates as well. Again, those are exactly what you would expect them to be. So um, yeah, once again, we, I didn't want to spend all the time going through and writing this code because you already know how to do this, but we do need to do it to get set up for what we're about to do next, which is to establish a many-to-many -many relationship between tags and events.